what was the original idea and when was it that you and Amy Poehler first started talking about it? Um, well, uh, I guess, you know, Amy, I, I'd known sort of in, in, in passing, you know, for like 15 years. And then she called me one day out of the blue, maybe seven years ago. And she said, as long as I've known you, you've always been the oldest girl in the world. And I was like, is this an insult phone call? And then she said, what if we did a show that was based on that idea, kind of? And it became a show that we... Um, we made for network TV um, that was called Old Soul. And in it already, my character's name was Nadia, who I'd always named my character's Nadia after Nadia Comaneci, my favorite gymnast from the 80s. And, uh, you know, there were sort of... Uh, Such an esoteric... Uh, yeah, and there were, there were other things. This is the stuff, you know what I mean? And, and therefore, it, maybe it, did, it didn't belong on network TV. You always have those things where someone's yeah. like, why is that? And you're like, I don't know, it's a yeah. line from a movie that no one's seen that yeah. I just really like. And yeah. those are the best things. And... Uh, and then, uh, I remember when that show didn't happen, Amy kind of like turned to me and she was like, all right, look, what's the show we really want to make? If there were no you know, restrictions at all and no rules and not like something that we think that people will like, won't like, like what is it we really want to say? And uh, we started kind of coming to this idea of something that was almost resembled a choose your own adventure. Of if I could go to the same party and almost, you know, choose to, you know, uh, go home with every single person from the party, maybe in a sex way, maybe not. And, you know, at first it might be fun. And then maybe three, six months, a year down the line, I would still find that I was sort of stuck with self in this way that uh, forced me to look and be like, you know, why am I still me and still searching? Meaning like these sort of buzzes that we can catch in a life of like, I think I've hit my stride and still there's something else. There's something like deeper going on that's often missing. And we realized that we wanted to make a show and then she gave it the title, you know, Russian Doll, that would be sort of about exposing this kind of, you know, most uh, innermost part. Um, and that starts, you know, Nadia starts sort of very, you know, Joe Pesci, Goodfellas, like, she's not that far off from, like, early season, you know, Nikki Nichols, Orange is the New Black, like, right. you know what I mean? And it's kind of in this, um, it's, you know, first of all, it's a pocket that I really enjoy playing that feels very honest for me. Kind of caustic and cynical yeah, and, and very know, funny. Kind of, uh, she's sort of uh, disconnected, like, you know, stay the F away from me. I'm walking here. She's very much almost like that kind of 70s guy, you know? Um, the classic New Yorker. Uh, yeah. She's like the New Yorker that we think of when we talk about New yeah. York, but doesn't actually exist that much in this city anymore. Yeah. And yeah, she's like a 70s New Yorker who's also probably a man, which is fun because we don't <laughs> see that often for women. And we've done nothing to change it with any details other than just letting her be that way. And you know, then kind of as she sort of uh, breaks down, I think that something else sort of happens. It's very, you know, organic to the journey of, of you know, what it's like when we kind of, uh, you know, get in there a little bit. Mm -hmm.